Yeah, welcome guys, this is Dino Shep here and welcome to Tony Hawk's bro Bro, I will, would say to Tony Hawk's Underground 2 on the PC mm -hmm. And my fire doesn't properly work Get a cigarette on the PC with If you guys see a PlayStation 3 controller it's loading up right now and stuff. Got some tools to get it working or most of the stuff. And yeah, let's check it out, dude. It's the same as on a PlayStation. A bit, I put the download link in the description. And also a video to set it up to for you guys to watch it. Uh, to make to make your controller work whatever you have because you can't plug it in and like use it in the game you have to manually set that up <laughs> I make the little kit here because it looks nice and stuff <laughs> oh, shit, I feel right there. Play the guys actually see a little bit. How it works on the PC and to be true right now to show you guys that this is a PC just look at there right now hold on a minute KP6 you never saw that on Xbox or PS2 never and when you uh, have had have modded the game in any kind of stupid way, cause who mods uh, a game like this? <laughs> but anyway, sack tab, yeah. And now, if you're probably gonna not believing me, this is yeah, well, uh, <laughs> PC, as you know. Huh? I have to go to the game. There it is, back. And we can play. Can start continuing playing. For sure. Yeah, I like it. I have to set it up properly because I didn't do that. Uh, and I have to set up manually how you walk, uh, how you jump and, and grind and stuff like that. Otherwise you only can ride the board and ride around and do nothing else. I have tried to play it with the keyboard but damn it's too hard. It's too hard. It's a key it's not a keyboard based game. It's already hard to play any racing game with only a keyboard. But that's 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 even harder to play with a keyboard than a racing game, by the way. Dude. Oh. There's Tony Hawk. Fucking. I don't know. Let's make a little. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that. Um, you also can hook up this to a TV, and uh, you have to be you. 
the only baddest thing about that is that you need to be having a controller constantly connected to the PC via USB cable. That's the sort of problem that you got. But if you got a long enough USB cable, I recommend uh, minimum is two meters. If you're really that kind of person that puts a PC in the living room to hook up to the TV and playing PC games with a controller and stuff, I really recommend getting a um, normal USB cable or using extension cables are more cheaper because um, you get I think five meters for five five foot cable I should say uh, five foot for maybe twenty dollars a max it shouldn't be more expensive that's the only problem you got and you have some tools but it's really not that hard to set it up and place like on a console because if you guys know when you watch me a console is nothing else than a PC which is logical because the console comes from the PC you don't need any emulator for this because uh, this is a PC version but yeah, you ha have to use a controller for this, really, dude. But yeah, nice. Oh shit. Yeah, I put the download link in the description. And also a video to help you, which, which is a really nice guy that helps you setting up that shit to. Uh, connect control and stuff. It's really not that easy as plugging your controller in and it works. Maybe a Xbox 360 or one controller will work up straight, but if you're like me, a PlayStation guy, you probably have only a PlayStation and a PlayStation controller. Like me that has a Call of War edition PS3 controller, but you can't see right now. Uh, that's a shame, but yeah, so you want to get this thing to work and yeah, plays nicely and hope you guys enjoyed that stuff and I will see you later dudes, peace out.